Hi, I'm Peter Hannock and I'm here at Bauma 2022 with Mark Lee. And this time, folks, I'm learning about something completely new because I'm joining Mark at the ABI Group who have designed this brand new... Well, what is it, Mark? <laughs> it's a new TM26 mobile ram. And what does that actually do? I mean, it's a huge machine. Yeah, sure. So it's a machine designed to put sheet piling in the ground yep. very quickly. It's a multi-purpose machine, so it will drive steel sheet piles. Uh, can handle concrete formation, so drill holes, fill that with concrete, so concrete piles, uh, vibrate stone columns, uh, very, very versatile piece of equipment. Uh, what's interesting here is it's our new flagship machine. So we've gone from being uh, maximum 22 metres, this is now a machine that gives us 26 metres of, of maximum depth. So it's another four metres. That's yes. going to have a lot more engineering face, and we'll see some of the counterweights in a moment. But um, the design of this is a brand as a brand new machine, but you've actually had a long-term relationship with the heart of this machine, provided by the Caterpillar team and the power, the power team there. That's so right. that's a stage five engine. Tell me about the engine that's inside this, why you've chosen to, to work again with this machine with Caterpillar? Well, the power rating on it suits the front end equipment very well. So really we're starting from a point of view of designing the right equipment at the front end to do the job in the ground and working backwards and choosing a power plant that suits the delivery of that power to the front end of the machine. The CAT engine we've been using now for, I would say, 20, 25 years. Wow, okay. Um, that relationship's been you know, very long standing. The quality of the product's been good. Uh, the service and support's been great. So. All in all, there's a good reason to continue with it. And I think that service and support as a global player yes, is absolutely. important, isn't it? Because you've got that, that cat dealer network, haven't you, that yeah. you work with on that concept? Very important. Yeah, we sell a lot to North America, for example, uh, and various other places around the world. So uh, typically, I'm based in the UK, and they support yeah. the UK through Finnings as well. Um, yeah, we find that to be very good. So folks, let's go and take a little closer look at some of the key things in the cab. And we've got some young people here right now, Mark, that are hopefully <laughs> going to be the people of the future with us. And basically, first of all, any machine, it's all about visibility and it's all about safety. So sure. talk to us a little bit about the cab setup and, and what we've got here. That's an interesting point, actually. Something we take um, as, a, as a priority, really, is the comfort of the operator. Yeah. If the operator's comfortable, we can if he has good visibility, if he's more relaxed, uh, he's not going to make as many mistakes, he's not going to be fatigued, yep. and he's going to have a better day at work. Um, so the design of the cab, with that in mind, uh, is very good visibility from the seat, uh, very little um, uh, obstacles in the way from the point of view of viewing from his position, the piling operation, which yep. is important, and the layout of the controls, uh, again, a relaxed operating position, minimum movements, that type of thing, yep. air conditioning, and noise insulation, so on and so forth. So, very, very nice cab to work in, lots of space and uh, good visibility. And so let's walk around the machine here. We hope these new guys, hi guys, we hope <laughs> these new guys will join our industry, Mark, because we certainly need them, don't we? This side of the machine is obviously where we've got all of the access as well, isn't mm -hmm. it? It's really important, folks, for me, when I've been taking a journey through new equipment, to talk about the maintenance and talk about the safety elements of, of being able to maintain a, a rig like this, because it's a huge beast. Sure. How is it all set up and designed in, in, in that way to support the service and, and to keep that operational? Absolutely. A key thing for the service guys is they can get, gain access to all the key service points. Yeah. Um, and the machine, in this case, whilst it's a big beast, is actually relatively low. Yep. Um, so it's fairly easy. For example, you could turn the machine through 90 degrees, yep. slew 90 degrees, you get good access to the doors, and even from ground level you can access the key service points. So that's, that's very useful. Of course, up on top we have the boxing ring with handrails yep. and so forth. Uh, so the access to that's a safe point. When you lay the machine down, you do need to get up there to move hoses and so forth. So having that there is, is a, a really important feature. And I think also when we look at this, we're looking at now bringing technology mm -hmm. into the space. And what's interesting here, folks, I just learned before this video, is you've actually enabled a factory fit Trimble mm -hmm. system onto this that you can actually use straight from when this plant is delivered to site. Mm -hmm. That's a first for you here mm -hmm. at Bauma, but also a first uh, on this machine as a new machine, sure. but again in the whole business. That's taking you into a, a much more accurate space, a much more important thing for the operators to, to actually see exactly when they need to position the machine. It's really <coughs> important that, isn't it? Yeah, I think the whole telemetrics has become more and more important. You know, people are looking for data. Yeah. They need data on how, how the pile was formed, yep. you know, how much concrete was consumed, how deep did you go, 
proving to your clients that you've delivered what you said you're going to deliver is very important. But also from the service point of view, um, remote access dial up so you can see if there are any service issues, um, when's the next service interval for example. Yep. Um, and then, yeah, as much automation, perhaps, um, long term as we can achieve is important. So I think all the manufacturers are probably working towards that same common goal. Yeah, and I think what's really interesting about the sort of machine control element is it's the exact location that you can get that pile in. And sure. again, when we're working folks, probably in inner city areas, that's even more important to get those piles yeah. accurately there for stability, because obviously we're going to probably build very large structures with a, with a machine like sure. this going down so much. Let's go and have a look around the back of the machine because it's quite heavy at the front, folks. So we need a bit of a support, don't we, Mark? Absolutely, yep. So one key issue here is uh, counterweight is in section, so it can be yep. removed. And okay. um, we can also customise the machine in different ways, and that requires maybe more or less counterweight. Yep. A big consideration as a global manufacturer is that in certain countries uh, it's difficult to move machines around. Oh, okay. So you need to be able to take weights off, reduce its mass. Yep. Um, here it's also possible to take the tracks off. Right. So that's an important option um, in parts of Europe um, and certainly in the US. Yeah, where you're actually, again, working in those inner city environments, but sure. you're on ancient roads that's right. and yeah, things yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, th there you've got that capability. So it's almost like a little bit of a Lego type style there. You can take things off, put them back on and again. And you need to be able to do it in a very slick fashion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. a lot of engineering goes into that process. Yeah. Yeah, design of that process. And we talk about the engineering right now, folks, because come to the back of here, I want to see more of this. What? I'm really excited about with this is, you know, you see how you're bringing everything together. Mm -hmm. You're bringing a long-term relationship with, with Caterpillar, the global dealer network. You've engineered a brand new machine. You're putting technology on it, mm -hmm. but it's actually all about the end user yep. and, and how they can benefit from a stage five engine and the technology and your product. Mm -hmm. So I talk about fuel mm -hmm. and every drop counts, whether it's value or whether it's saving fuel. Mm -hmm. What is this machine going to be, one, capable of doing for the customers, and, and two, how do you think it's going to be able to save the, the CO2 emissions that we need to do to be more sustainable in our industry? So a key bit of technology we've been working on and, and, and providing for the last six, seven, eight years is a system we call Efficiency Drive. Okay. And that's a two-part system. Uh, the first fundamental part of that is uh, we play with very cleverly with the hydraulic system uh, to have less loss between the engine and the piece of equipment right at the front of the machine. Yep. So essentially slowing down the speed of flow uh, reduces losses. So we make that bit of the process more efficient. Uh, and we can also, at, at periods of low power demand, um, we can adjust the performance of the engine at the same time. Yep. So the two things combined uh, achieve a, a very significant reduction in fuel consumption. And our measurements are typically in the range of 30 to 40%. Fantastic. Which so it's massive. great to see. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So again, you know, we really are focusing on how we can get every drop and every value yeah. out there yeah. and, and all of those telematics and everything that keeps the uptime going and that essential engine at the heart of the machine, no matter where this goes in yeah. the world, so they've got the backup for that as well, haven't yeah. you? Yeah, exactly. So exactly. great to meet you. you and and you I hope much. to see some of these machines in action as they roll out <laughs> from Bauma, hopefully onto a customer site straight away. Cheers, Mark. Great, great to see you. Thanks.